In two minutes of the T's Weir derby, and the visitor Sunderland were in front. Michael Chopra's shot fell inadvertently to Grant Ledbitter, and he scored his first goal of the season. Well, Middlesbrough thought they should have had a penalty when Gary O'Neill's effort met the hand of Danny Collins. Referee Howard Webb said no. But Arca's afternoon ended early and painfully as well. Stuart Downing's deflected cross led to Middlesbrough's next chance, but O'Neill couldn't control the volley. But the home side were on top at this stage, and Mido almost put them in front, but his header looped just over. Lee Dong Gook was on for Borough, and the Korean forward curled an effort just inches wide of the Sunderland goal. Sunderland were mainly on the back foot, but on the break they nearly grabbed the lead. Ross Wallace with the effort. Taylor looked as though he was held up by Liam Miller. Good play by the fullback, but he doesn't really have anywhere to go, and he'll get a free kick here. And suddenly it gets very feisty indeed, and Catamol gets involved with Ledbitter. The referee is two yards away. Here it is once again. It all got very feisty. It was Catamol who made the challenge, and Ledbitter who didn't like it. Been some meaty challenges, and it boiled over with Ledbitter and Lee Catamole at the heart of this yellow card each as the outcome from the referee. Oh, had a busy game for Borough. His finishing wasn't great though. Another chance wide. There was a spectacular finale, thanks to Liam Miller. His shot, a brilliant way to earn a share of the points. So these two North East rivals say locked in the table on eight points each.